Um, so what do we have inside the box? Let's open her up, take a look. So inside the box here today, we have got the Crawford & Lip adjustable cheek rest V2. Um, so yeah, they have a, a V1 out there. Uh, this is the V2. A couple of things that make this special or, you know, make it stand out for me. Uh, so I want to take a look at those here with you guys, review that, and go through a quick install, and that should about do it for today. Uh, so one of the first things you'll notice is, unlike some of the other adjustable cheek rests out there, this does come with a cheek rest. So it actually has a cheek rest. You don't have to reuse the stock cheek rest. Uh, some things I like about this cheek rest in particular, um, it's got a flat top. So I, I really enjoy the flat top. You still have your rounded edge, so it's comfortable for your cheek. Uh, this is not aluminum. Uh, this is made out of Delrin, if I remember correctly. And one of the other unique features of this adjustable cheek rest is the fact that Steven put a quick release on it. <clears throat> so when it comes to adjusting the height of your cheek rest, instead of having to mess with tightening hex screws on here and then getting that height right and then hopefully, you know, keeping it at the level you had it set at while you tighten those hex screws up. This one is as simple as, boom, undo the quick release, adjust the height to where you want it, lock it in place. One of the other neat things I like about this cheek rest, and I'm gonna hold it up to the camera. I don't know if it's gonna show up well. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll try to get a picture put in the video. But it actually has, I'm gonna hold it a little close here actually has some markings on it. Um, so essentially, uh, you know, little graduated markings on here. So you know where you had that, that level set. Uh, the reason I think that's neat is if you're like me, I switch my scopes a lot. So I will switch out from digital to standard glass. Each one has a different set of rings. And you know, I, I like the cheek rest to be a different height depending on the scope and the rings that I'm using. So that's another really cool feature that just helps keep that uh, you know quick adjustability in the field. The nice thing with the quick release too, you won't be digging for that hex key to change the height of your cheek riser when you're making changes, making adjustments, or even just trying to get comfortable uh, changing positions. So let's go through the, the install on this here and uh, see, uh, see what it looks like. So first off, take off the stock cheek rest uh, it's a two and a half millimeter hex now as far as installing the Crawford and Lipped adjustable cheek rest you will utilize two of the screws off of the stock cheek rest piece so get those guys unscrewed take this off here and let's see if we can get two of these guys out there we go set this guy to the side here so one thing you notice here too, I do have the KLS2 adjustable buttstock. I am using the monopod on that piece. And just one little quick thing I want to say about the monopod. Uh, the monopod to me, not really meant to be, you know, like a bench monopod. I use my monopod for things like this, where I've got my rifle on the, the workbench. Uh, also, find it super handy when I'm mounting a scope for the first time, making sure it's level. Uh, you know, also the other thing I find this super duper handy for is we just when I'm setting my scope zero, you know, as far as, you know, when I'm moving around, shooting different targets or, you know, just moving around on the hundred yard bench, uh, I rely on the, the actual bag rest and, you know, just a nice rear, solid rear bag. So that's just the bit on the KLS two. Now I'm going to tell you guys one thing that I do when I reuse the stock bolts, uh, I've got some little three millimeter thin stainless steel washers. So I use that just because of the fact that I'm just one of those people. I don't want to mar the aluminum mounting plate on this cheek rest if I can avoid it. Um, one of the nice things that you'll see here in a moment too, when you go to mount this, there is no take off the butt stock. There is no, let's try to wedge a little piece of whatever into you know the grooves. Uh, you know, that's the one thing that on some of these I'm not a huge fan of, uh, where I'm actually trying to put a, a mounting piece behind or inside of the chassis there. So this sits totally on top of the chassis, uh, you know, won't interfere with, you know, anything going on in the rear there. So, and as you see me take off the cheek rest here with those three 
hex bolts. They actually have pass-through holes for your mounting options. So what I'm going to do here first, I'm going to get these bolts with the washers into the mounting holes. And I'm actually going to lower it down here. And let's get that locked back in. All right, so you use the two rear holes. And all you do, set this on top, get them centered. Take your two and a half mil hex and tighten those guys down. Let's get them finger tight here and then just give it a little snug. You do not need to go gorilla strength on these. It's not going anywhere. And heaven forbid you actually strip one of these things out when you try to take it off. All right, now that's done. Very simple operation next. Place the cheek rest back on top. Take your two and a half mil hex again. Tighten that guy down. And same premise here. No gorilla strength needed. Get it finger tight essentially. Then give it another little snug up there. All right. So we should be nice and tight there. Great. So that's it. Very simple. Uh, nice thing is in the field, want to change the height, flip the quick release. Raise the cheek rest to the height that you want it at, lock it down, and you're done. And you can see, no move to it, solid piece, no wiggle. And, uh, you know, like I said, I appreciate kind of that top, you know, flat top cheek rest. You still got the nice rounded edge, so it's really comfortable when you've got it up into a, you know, really nice cheek weld there. And uh, just for me, advantages on this piece, the quick release, I don't have to sit there find a hex key, find an Allen key to make an adjustment. And I do appreciate the fact that, uh, hey, I don't have to mess with trying to stick anything in the butt of that gun there. So it all just mounts right on top. Very clean, very nice looking piece. Uh, if you want to check it out, head over to uh, Crawford and Lip's uh, website. I'll have it posted in the description below. Um, have any questions, feel free to, uh, you know, pop them in the comments there. Other than that, uh, I'll tell you guys, this is a piece of, you know, equipment that you will not regret buying for your impact. So if you do have the need to have an adjustable cheek rest, I can wholeheartedly say you cannot go wrong with this V2 cheek rest from Crawford and Lip. I absolutely love this thing. Um, so thanks for watching and catch you later.